So my name's James Cook and I've been supporting Arsenal for my entire life. Can I ask how old you are? I'm 22. When I was younger I never really got to experience those years, 2003-04, when we had the undefeated season. I was kind of too young to process what was going on at the time. But now I've lived through and I've really heavily experienced those years where it has been a bit tough. But I do think we have to give credit and admiration to Arsene Wenger. Let's not forget, in his final couple of seasons, he did win three FA Cups. He did do some fantastic work. It's just these past two seasons where we finished outside the Champions League where I think really a lot of fans did start to realise that it was time for him to go. The board came to that decision as well. Seeing the same predictable team lineups again and again, seeing the same style of play, seeing a manager that was so stubborn to not change things in games, to have such a stubborn attitude towards the end was really frustrating. But on the other hand, I was really sad to see a man that I really do look up to as a great human being. He is a really, he's a philosopher. He's a legend at this club. And to see him be treated in the way that he was by certain sections of our supporters was quite damaging towards the end. And it's not, uh, it's not nice to you know, see some of the chance that we're going towards his name. But he is a guy that towards the end really, when he announced his retirement, uh, not retirement, but departure from Arsenal a couple of uh, months before the end of the season. I think that was the best thing he could have done because those last couple of games, everyone was behind him. Everyone wanted to see him go out on a high. Um, you know, unfortunately, we didn't win the Europa League in the way that I think so many people wanted to. But I think that was telling of what Arsene Wenger's career was like towards the end. It was waning at Arsenal and to see him go out on... On, I would say it was a higher steal given that so many fans were still behind him and we gave him that massive send off at the end of the season. It was good to see him go but my, my overriding feeling in those last couple of seasons was frustration above all things. We haven't really got a board that are overly passionate about what goes on the pitch in Stan Kroenke. We are a self-sustaining club and um, that's been made evident in the past couple of weeks and I think that's a great way to be. My, myself, I'm really passionate about that and I like to see a club that does things in the right way, doesn't necessarily chuck money at the wall. But we are in an era of football now where clubs like Manchester City, Chelsea, we know they've done it for over a decade now, are spending millions upon millions upon millions and it's great to be self-sustaining but if we can't back that up with trophies then I mean I don't think you'll find many Arsenal fans that will just want a self-sustaining football club. There's no reason why we can't have high ambitions. It's good to have high ambitions but we also have to have strong expectations and realistic expectations. A top four finishes the aim this season but if we can challenge for the title then that will have been an unbelievable job in Emery's first season. I'm not saying that's going to be the case but a top four finish and uh, you know a domestic cup would be fantastic. I don't think Emery was necessarily the first choice in everyone's list, but given the way Arsenal was so regimented in their approach in terms of bringing in a manager, I mean, a lot of Arsenal fans were so excited about potentially bringing in Mikel Arteta and for Emery to come in, it's good to see that the club have gone through a process. They've interviewed a lot of potential candidates. He's come out on top and the football at times has been, you know, it's not been fantastic, but we are getting those wins on the board and especially in that game against Fulham, things started to click that little bit more and that's the kind of football that hopefully we'll see Arsenal playing on a more regular basis. I think it's important to note that it's not just Emery that's changed the team, it's the whole structure at Arsenal. Arsene Wenger was a manager and now we've got a head coach. So Emery's coming as a head coach and his sole responsibility at Arsenal is to focus on the football. We've got Raul Sinelli who's in charge of contracts and has recently been promoted following Ivan Gazidis' move to AC Milan. Uh, and we've got Sven Mislin that's in charge of bringing players in. So Emery's focus is purely just on the football, which is fantastic to see. We didn't have that last season. Wenger had so many different external matters to deal with and now we've got a coach that is just focusing on football and nothing else. Um, and as well as that, I mean, He's brought a strong work ethic, a different mentality, a desire to win, a hunger to win. Even if we're 2-0 down like we were in that game against Man City on the opening day, this is still a team that believes that they can get something out of the games, as we proved in the game against Chelsea, which we unfortunately lost. But that battle, that work ethic, I think it's coming through this season. The wins haven't been pretty at times. I'm looking back to Watford, West Ham, where we've really ground out those victories. But we are winning games, and that's the most important thing. And that's what uh, Emery has instilled in this Arsenal team. I think it's fair to say that Arsenal do do a lot for the fans. Looking at the junior gunners, the, you know, the cheap ticket prices for the Europa League games and the um, Carabao Cup games, this club does do a lot for the supporters. That strengthening between the fans and the and the club has become stronger, I think. If you look on social media, the way the club reacts and interacts with its supporters is fantastic. So hopefully, um, I don't think it should take Arsene Wenger leaving to make that bond stronger, but it's, it's something I certainly believe is happening. This season, there's a lot more camaraderie before the games. You haven't got fans squabbling about Wenger in or Wenger out. Thankfully, that debate has gone entirely out the window. There's a lot more excitement, a lot more buzz around the fans. And, you know, I think people are generally a lot more excited to come to Arsenal games. Being a season ticket holder myself, I'm delighted to be coming to every single Arsenal home game this season. And I think that goes for a lot of Arsenal supporters. Last season, we'd go to games and I think we'd know what to expect. This season, we're going into an Arsenal game and we have no idea what we're going to get from the match.